Chunis Port is located on the Tard R37 road, about 40 kilometers south of Polokwane, formerly known as Petersburg. The pass follows the course of the Tuduma River, which flows southwards out of the Chunis Port Dam. At the northern end, the river has cut its way through a narrow gorge, and an unusual feature of this pass is that the bridge over which the road is built does not cross the river, but parallels its path through the gorge directly above the water. We filmed this pass from north to south. The pass begins at the intersection of the R37 and a road leading off to the left, very close to the Chunisport Dam wall and the villages of Chunisport and Chweni. The road heads in a southerly direction, descending very gradually. At the 400 meter mark, there's a sudden sharp dip in the road, followed by a shallow bend to the right. The skyline in front of you is dominated by the massive slanting dolomite ridge on the mountain to the left a rock type often associated with and named after this very port. The road straightens out again and a deep gorge through the mountains is presented directly ahead. The speed limit changes to 60 km per hour at this point for a very good reason as you are about to approach a nasty little kink in the road. The road then curves to the right then drops down a short descent towards the ravine. As you move on to the bridge, there's a sharp turn to the left, the skid marks in the road being evidence of motorists that have been travelling too fast. The road turns immediately back to the right, then straightens out for 200 metres before curving through the gorge, all the while on top of the bridge, following the course of the river. As you exit the gorge, the road moves off the bridge and begins a long double apex turn to the left. At the 3.1 km mark, the R579 leads off to the right. This is a busy intersection, so please be careful. It could be argued that the port ends at this point, but the topography indicates that the port does in fact continue further towards the east, following the path of the Tudumo River. Continue straight ahead along the R37. A long undulating straight of 1.3 km is followed by a gradual turn to the right, as the road starts to approach the small villages of Stunt Place on your right and Moy Place on your left. There are some tall trees, including marula and wild olive interspersed amongst the sides of the road. There are lots of stray animals around, so obey the speed limit which changes back to 80 km per hour at this point. This is a very busy road, so please be patient if you're stuck behind slow moving traffic, and there are only a few places where you can overtake without crossing a double barrier line. Another long straight of 1.8 km opens up a view over the surrounding landscape and a tall red and white radio tower which marks the next small village is visible on the left hand side. The mountains funnel in towards another narrow opening in the distance ahead of you and the road moves closer to the river on your left. A sharpish turn to the right is followed by a short straight and then the road kinks to the left, hugging the mountain on the right hand side. A short sharp descent takes you down a bridge over the river, then the gradient flattens out as you approach the village of Malamang. A very shallow S-bend follows, with the road first turning right and then left. Another straight of 450 meters is followed by the final corner of the pass, a long gradual turn to the left, which leads you towards the very busy intersection that marks the end of the port at the 10.1 km mark. Mm -hmm.